Rugby United New York established themselves at the top of the Eastern Conference with a hard-fought 38-point to 34 victory over Old Glory DC. The game produced some outstanding rugby and 10 quality tries, including this beauty finished by De Monte Noble, which really summed up the attacking intent that Old Glory bring to the table. But it was this score by Troy Lockyer at the start of the second quarter that really stands out for me. Let's take a look at how it happened. Play starts with a scrum just outside the Old Glory 22, and a slight loose head drive gives Andy Ellis space to get across to combine with Dan Hollingshead for this lovely slice play. With the Old Glory back row tied up, Ellis now needs the commit to Sitala which he does by arcing his run and delaying the pass until Tussitala bites on the tackle. The next stage of the play has Leonard come in short, Hollingshead out the back, and then Nawatai pops up on the inside space. But the play wasn't perfect. The short line from Leonard needs to hold old glory fullback Jabulus. But because the time between his line and the inside ball from Hollingshead is too great, Jabulus is able to swim off and make the tackle. Even though it wasn't perfect, Nawatai is able to get the ball away quickly, preventing the defence from being able to set. Something that Robert Sinana might have been able to prevent with a wrap-up tackle here. And that super fast ball, an extra couple of metres, presented a golden attacking opportunity. I really like Rugby United's setup here. They've got Locks, Hewitt and Civetta running off nine, and Flanker Brakley running a short line. And that combination holds the inside defence and puts Palamo in no man's land. And a flat pass from Hollingshead was enough to put the flying fullback Troy Locker in to score. MLR continues to impress week by week. I can't wait for this weekend. Until next time.